Hello, and in this video, we're going to be using uh, on shape to create ISO number five. Uh, it's more of a house shape in this one. Uh, we're going to do a combination of both subtractive and additive methods in this one. Uh, so we're going to start by creating an overall box. Uh, and from that box, we're going to use that chain for tool like we did on ISO four uh, to make the sloped edges on top. Uh, from there, then we'll add on this additional piece out in what would be kind of the front or doorway of the house. Uh, so we're going to start again, create a document, name it ISO 5, and start on our ISO. Uh, so if we go back to our object and count, it's going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we go up 3, and then an additional 2, so a total of 5 uh, to create this shape. So I'm going to sketch. I'm just going to click on the front and change to that front view. Uh, to do this, I'm just going to make a rectangle again. So I click on that bottom on the origin and I click and I can type in 6 on the bottom and then 5 on the vertical. Uh, once I'm done, I can hit that green check and adjust my view so it's easier for you to see. And then we need to extrude the distance back. Uh, this one, you can see it's pretty lengthy. Uh, if we count, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then two more on the back, so 7 and 8. Uh, so our depth is going to be 8. So we'll hit extrude, click on the shape, and change our depth to 8 and hit enter. Uh, we hit the green check and that gives us this big box and next thing we want to do is create those uh, cut ends or the slants on all what would you make all the roof portion of this building. Uh, so we're going to use that chafer tool again. I'm just going to start on this front edge. Uh, again, what's going to go down if we look back at our object, it's going to go down one and two. And it goes in half the distance, so the whole thing is six, so half the distance would be three. So they are not going to be equal distance, so we have to change it to two distances. Uh, we want one of the distances to be three, and that's going in, so it's correct. If it gives you the incorrect, you can always click opposite direction to change it. And we want downwards to be two, so we hit two and then we hit our green check for selecting that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We couldn't mute it to do it, but it's going to be quick and easy just to do another shape. So I'm going to go three and enter. And this time you can see it did it downwards instead of in. So I went in opposite direction. And now it's cutting that in. Then we do the two and enter. And it cuts that two down. Uh, I hit my green check. And it gives me that overall house shape. Uh, then I next need to add in a plane so I can create a sketch for this front portion. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a plane. Uh, it's going to be one, two inches or two spaces away. And then we're going to sketch this uh, pentagon shape here in the front. Uh, so to do that, we need to create a plane offset from a plane. Uh, so in order for you to do that, we're going to have a new surface we create in front of this object. Uh, to do that, if we come up here on the top, you can see there's these different options. Uh, it kind of shows a surface or a plane floating off in front. That's what we want. So we click Offset Surface. First, we have to tell it where to offset from. So I click that plane. Uh, it's showing the arrow going in front, which is what one. If not, we could drag it the opposite direction and we'll click this arrow to change the direction. And we said we want it two spaces in front, two inches in front. Uh, so we hit our green check to accept. And now we can sketch onto this plane we just created. So I hit sketch, I click on that plane, and I'm going to change it to a right view so we can see it a little more easily. Uh, then we come back to our object so we can count. We can see it starts in the bottom corner, uh, and it goes over 1, 2, 3, 4, and it goes up 1, 2, 3. Uh, on the top, we're going to make a triangle, and it's going to have a peak 1 and a half inches above. Uh, so we're going to start with a line tool, and I'm just going to start in a random location. We're going to dimension to fix the location here in a little bit. Uh, so once we're on that line, you can see that T-shape. We can click, and then we click again, and we said it goes 5 over. Then we want to go up to uh, 3 inches. You can see it's making both the perpendicular and the, and the constraint plane. Uh, those are both what we want, so we're going to click on that. 
Uh, then we want to make that kind of house shape. Uh, we don't, we're going to dimension it to give our distance, so we're not going to make it perfect this time. As long as we have it set, that's okay. Uh, then we're going to bring it back down and put it on that line. And finally, we'll close out our shape, and we'll set that line to be a distance of 3. And that straightens it up. We could also use a perpendicular constraint to straighten it up. Uh, it's not perfectly set. Uh, with this dimension tool, uh, I'm going to dimension the base point to the edge has a value of 2. And hit enter. Uh, then we also want to make the height of this object uh, one and a half above. So I can either go directly down to the line or I can go all the way down to the bottom with some addition. I'm just going to go from the top down and we want that to have a value of one and a half inches, 1.5 inches. Uh, finally, we want to make these two pieces equal so that my roof isn't kind of tilted any direction. I want them to be equal distance, equal sizes apart from one another. Uh, so I can change my constraints tools. So if I'm on this tool, there's different constraints. I want to select equal. And I'm just going to select the two blue lines to make sure they're equal distance. Uh, you can see everything changes black, so it's fully constrained. Uh, once I'm done with that, I hit my green check. I'm going to change my view so it's a little easier to see. I'm actually going to come over to the side view. And then we want to extrude. Uh, with this extrude, uh, we're going to go to the next surface. So to do that, uh, first I'm going to click inside my shapes. Uh, in this case, it, it gave me two. I want to make sure to click both the triangle and the re rectangle. Uh, and then where it says uh, blind, I want it to select up to next and I want to change my direction so it has a next thing to go to. Uh, so you can see it's running into the shape. Uh, we hit our green check and it shows it running to that face. You may want to get rid of this surface here. Uh, and you're not really getting rid of it but just so it doesn't show up in your view. Uh, to do that you come down to where it says parts and surfaces. Uh, under surfaces you just click on the eye and that surface is now gone. It's there, but you can't see it, I should say. Uh, so that gives us ISO 5. Uh, hopefully this helps. Good luck.